Okay, I just wanted to do a quick video to show you my method of ensuring my grass does not have weeds and dandelions. Like if you can see, I got a couple spots where we see some uh, some weeds growing in. Got a spot here, and it's a spot over there. But my theory, some people just go and just pluck this top off and think that's good when it's not because you're going to look back in this spot that thing is going to come back more aggressive so what i suggest it's real simple i'm going to slice in because the object is to get the root if i don't get the root of this thing it's going to come right back so i'm slicing down and popping up and don't worry about the grass you can always replant and get that back and I'm gonna just dump this whole thing back down in there. So now, what I'm trying to do now, since I have this up, I'm gonna try to start smacking some of this dirt off. Cause I wanna keep as much of this dirt as possible. And I hope I get deep enough to the root to just damage it completely. It's hard doing it with one hand. And I didn't I didn't get that thing deep as enough. Look how thick that root is. If you just pull that sucker out from the top and you leave that big root down there, it's coming back. I doubt if I got enough of it. Because it goes farther. So what I'm gonna do is kind of just dig around in there. Hopefully I can get that root up, put this dirt back in. And this will just be a section where I patch in more seeds. But the most important part to me is getting this root out of here. Look at that. And if you just pull off the top, it's a metaphor for life. If you don't get to the root of the problem, it's just gonna keep coming back. You can make the top look pretty, but if the root's still messed up, you're gonna be in the jam. Thanks for checking out the video. Dre Thames, Dre Dan of Life. Peace.